how many recall repairs for the ignition switch have you done so far? I think we've completed a total of about 30. 30 have been repaired? Yes. People Under the recall, yeah. dealers like Bill K. Chevrolet in suburban Chicago will schedule a repair and provide customers a loaner car, all free of charge. Though across the country, only a small fraction of owners have reported problems with the recalled vehicles. What's been the reaction of customers? I have had not had one customer ever bring this to my attention, that they had any problem with an ignition switch that turned off while they were driving it. Or Kay says it takes about an hour to do the repair, replacing two components, the ignition switch and the ignition lock cylinder. Drivers also get new keys with a single small hole, replacing old keys with a longer slot. This is an old one. They're also discouraged from hanging too much weight on their key ring, a point made in GM corporate videos. We've conducted more than 80 different tests on vehicles involved in the recent ignition switch recall to ensure the vehicles are safe if you use only a single key on the key ring. CEO Mary Barra herself repeated the point during tense Senate hearings. Would you recommend that I drive home in it tonight? If you take the all the keys off the ring except the ignition key or just use the ignition key, our, our engineering team has done extensive analysis to say that is safe to drive. With a recall underway, the only roadblock is the supply chain. We got an 05 Saturn Ion. Technicians can only fix cars as fast as they get the new parts from GM. We have an ignition cylinder. Which leaves a lot of unrepaired vehicles on the road. GM says it may take until October to fix all the affected vehicles. If you knew your kids were driving around in a Saturn Ion that had not been repaired, would you feel comfortable? I would be concerned. I would want to make sure that they get the part replaced as soon as possible.